Welcome vacationers on another trip to the Orlando area. Today we will be staying in a resort near SeaWorld Orlando located west of iDrive. We usually don't stay that westward on iDrive only because there aren't many resort properties. What you will find are some hotels and timeshare properties. The resort is located on iDrive. If you're driving from Disney World in I-4, you can take exit 71 towards SeaWorld or if you're coming from Universal Studios, on I-4, take the Sand Lake exit, take a ride on International Drive, and just take it straight to the resort. The closest highway by the resort is a 528, which has tolls, so keep that in mind. So, where are we staying? It is the Double Tree by Hilton at SeaWorld. We have stayed here twice, once for exploration, and the second, we were going to the SeaWorld Park. This resort is fairly inexpensive, especially when you add up all the amenities. The most expensive I've seen this resort was around 180 to 190, but that was at peak season. Now, without further delay, let's begin the tour. Hope you enjoy. Now, as you make your way through the main doors, you'll walk into a pretty spacious main lobby. To the right hand side, you'll see the reception area and in front of that is the bell desk. Both times we've stayed here, we've had exceptional customer service experience. If you keep walking down the lobby towards the middle, there is a bistro slash bar. Great for a quick drink while you wait for your room to be ready. Towards the back is a nice little sitting area and across that is a is a hotel's boutique slash store. You can find handbags, clothing and such there. Past that you'll see the sliding doors where you can exit the main lobby and head outside to the main building. Once outside, depending on what building you have, you might have to walk some ways. The resort has five to six buildings aside the main building that each is two floors. I believe Doubletree came and bought an already built hotel, made the updates and created the main building next to the lobby. The property is bigger than what it seems once you head outside. It's spacious with a lot of landscaping, perfect for picnics and barbecues and just hanging out. It has two pools, the main pool with the waterfall and a poolside bar towards the lobby and then another standard pool towards the back. The resort has tons of amenities including mini golf, ping pong, foosball tables and much more which you can find at the activities building. Additionally, there is a laundry room you can utilize and that's also located next to the activities room. Coming out of the main lobby, the resort has two restaurants, The Market and Laguna. The Market is more of a fast food, sandwiches, pizzas and such, while Laguna is a sit-down restaurant. We had a cheeseburger and chicken wings. 
For drinks, we had strawberry mango martinis. Everything was delicious. For two plates and two drinks plus tip, everything came out around 65 US dollars. The main building is located on the left hand side of the resort as you come out the main lobby. You can find parking all around the resort and it's first come first serve basis. On the first floor you have the main elevator, fitness room, ATM and banquet halls. The gym is standard, nothing too fancy with regular machines but no free weights. On the second floor you can find a balcony overlooking the main pool which is a great spot for a little bit of relaxation or if you want to pick up a book and read. Now as we make our way into the rooms, we've actually stayed both in a king size and a double bed room. Both were very clean with ample room to walk around, especially in the traffic lane. And that's an area that I call between the bed and the wardrobe where most people walk through. Usually that's very tight and narrow and it's very hard to walk by, especially when you have families. But this room has very ample space. The bed itself is very comfortable not too soft i thought it'll be a little bit softer but it's good enough to give you a night a good night's sleep the bathroom is standard with a standard shower head you get a computer desk with a chair which is actually comfortable compared to other resorts and depending on the room you might get a single chair with a small end table or a sofa with a coffee table like i said it's still pretty spacious for you to walk around and relax I'm always about the view and both times we were fortunate enough to get a great view overlooking iDrive. Overall, we've had a great stay at this resort and I'm going to give it my thumbs up for anybody who wants to stay here in this property. Like always, we hope you enjoyed this tour of Doubletree at SeaWorld. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below. Have you stayed here before? How was your experience? Or are there any other resorts you would like us to tour for you? Make sure to stay tuned.